I, I see you're still wearing your red sweater. I, uh, I don't see how I could not have worn the red sweater this morning. <laughs> it's Tell more famous than me. I just had to bring myself along. Can you believe you've become an internet sensation? I, I went from last night having seven Twitter followers, two of which were my grandmother because she had to uh, remake her account when she forgot her password, to uh, now I have several hundred. I don't know why they care what I have to say, but I'm glad they're engaged in the political process. Well, I think they thought you were quite charming. In fact, you told uh, you told my booker, Nija, why you chose to wear that red sweater. Can you share with us? Uh, yeah, I had a really nice olive suit that I love a great deal, and my mother would have been very proud to see me wearing on television. But apparently I've gained about 30 pounds, and when I went to get in my car the morning of the debate, I split the seat of my pants all the way open. Uh, so the red sweater is plan B. I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> This was supposed to be a town hall debate where, you know, an intimate setting where voters were to get to know the candidates better. Do you feel it went down that way? Well, in the first part especially, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of bickering, a lot of name calling. But we did get to eight questions from the people, which is about the same as the last uh, political cycle. So I'm really proud of uh, Martha Raddatz and Anderson Cooper. I think they did an excellent job moving us through under difficult circumstances. And I really feel like uh, our voice was heard. At points during the debate, it almost felt like watching mom and dad fight. It got very uncomfortable from up close. But uh, if you can dig through some of the rhetoric and yeah. some of the uh, name calling that went on, I think there really were some substantive yeah, answers. Really uh, it's just unfortunate that we have to wade through so much to get to them. But you're still glad to be part of the process, and you will vote, right? Absolutely. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, so much attention has come my way. Uh, if for no other reason, then I can get the message out that your voice can be heard, and please get out and vote in November. Even if you feel like your vote does not matter, it does. Make your voice heard. <laughs> I like that. And before you go, I just have to, to show you a little love from the Internet, because um, one woman actually tweeted this. Ken Bone, the real MVP of the debate, 33% confidence, 33% calming demeanor, 33% huggability, 1% power stash. And they're talking about your mustache. <laughs> so again, well, um, I, if I am being honest, uh, I really feel like the mustache deserves more than 1%, but I'm glad it got on the list. <laughs>